What's up ladies and all gentlemen, my name is Destroy and welcome back to my playthrough of The Long Dark, episode 4, Fury and Silence. Now before we start a part 2, yeah, while I was editing part 1, actually it's a bit windy and loud in my ears out there so I'm just going to shut the door. Anyway, I don't think it's really made much of a difference jumping back inside but anyway, I digress. Uh, part 1, while I was editing part 1 I noticed I missed a few things. Um, I missed the actually screw it I'm going outside that uh, what do you call it prison bus right there I forgot to search that there wasn't much in it but hey ho I've still forgot to uh, search it and in the infirmary no not the infirmary the um, guard tower actually it might have been the infirmary whatever it was I missed the uh, bathroom I forgot to uh, search through that and I got some revolver cartridges and some another pair of long johns or thermal underwear so and i also haven't searched this yet so let's do that that'll come in handy will it that might what was that obviously it was a letter or whatever a note but uh is that it an aggressive wolf is stalking the region it'd probably help if i went to uh here all right, let's look at this. To make a tough winter even tougher, blah, 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 yada, 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 yada. Okay. So we have to, okay, locate the aggressive right. Okay, so that's just a side mission. But um, what we have to do is leave the prison. So I'm going to do that now. And uh, find the uh, drugs or antibiotics or whatever for the warden. So, let's carry on with the uh, actual main storyline. Go for a quick jog. Why not, eh? Actually, what's the temperature at the moment? Minus nine. That's not too bad. Oh, also, off camera, I uh, everything should be yeah, at 100% because I, uh, I had a shit ton of, uh, what do you call it, cloth. So, I got all my clothing up to 100, apart from the boots because I don't have any leather. So, they're all right anyway. So, actually, quick check of the map. Yeah, have a look down here. So, we have to go down here. So, you walk straight out. Veer to the left. And uh, Black Rock Blues. And I might actually press the wrong button. That's fine. Get a flare out, just in case. So, I've got the, the uh, what do you call it, distress pistol now, but... I don't know how many times I'm going to have to use that, and I don't think I've got many cartridges for it, so... Actually, let's let's have a little look, shall we? Okay, we got five. And we'll reload. Alright. Let's head towards... I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a cave or what. It looks like sort of... If you look at the map, it kind of looks a bit like a cave here. Like it's a rocky area. So... And we've also got some... Side missions happening on the map as well. Black Rock Rumours. But uh, we'll continue on with the main story, as I said. Looks like we've got a truck up ahead. Any goodies for your boy? What is that? I can see something sticking out here. Oh, hello. Just what I need. Hunting rifle. Okay, okay. Let me put the pistol away. Flare gun, whatever you want to call it. Oh, hello. Hunting rifle in the back and the uh, hunting rifle cartridge in the front. And some more cloth. Yay. I swear I used about 100 pieces of cloth. Can I not grab that battery? Ah, oh, well. Alright, uh, just another quick map check here. Okay, so yeah, so I have to head to the left a bit. Well, actually, you'll probably be able to follow the road around. What's this say? Prison area. Warning. Uh, do not pick up hitchhikers. Okay, well, uh, I don't think I'll be having that problem out here, but that's fine. Yeah, this wraps around to the left here, so we should be all good. It's funny as well, this is actually the third time I'm recording this part, because, you never believe it, I died twice. Yes, correct. I died twice. 
First time I died was um, a bunch of sea wolves attacked me. And I threw like three or four flares at them and they just, it, it didn't work. It didn't scare them or nothing. Uh, so I died, load the game back in. Oh, hello. I thought that was a bloody a timber wolf there, but no, it is not. Um, and then the second time I died, it was from bloody food poisoning. I couldn't believe it. It was like I had the worst luck playing this game last night. So mine left penitentiary to the right. So assuming we go this way. Yes. Yes. Actually, but look at that. Maybe we have to go to the right. I don't know. I'm not sure. Because I don't think... Is there anything around here? I'm not sure. Is that a bridge? Hmm. Okay. Well, there's a couple of cars here. I might... Mine. Mine, mine! Sorry, Mackenzie. I keep wanting to sprint, man. Let's check these out real quick. See if there's anything interesting. Something's gotta go. Yeah, relax. 15 kilo battery. Hmm, that's interesting. Flare. Flare shell. Revolver shell. Okay. Nothing too interesting in that one. What about you? You got anything for me? That battery I can move? I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Shut up, Mackenzie. Um, I'm actually going to leave... Actually, yeah, I'm going to leave them. Because they wouldn't be as good as my 100% as anyway. No, they're not. 84%. Not good enough. Another bloody flare. Alright. Uh, hang on, what's that in the... The dis Oh, hello. It looks like there's a... A cabin or something out here. Interesting enough. Is that the correct terminology? Interestingly enough? Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is I haven't seen any wolves. I've just heard one now, but... Let's quickly run into here, see if there's anything worth getting. Stealing. Looting. Eh, how much I'll take them. How's our weight? Ah, oh, we got heaps. Heaps of, heaps of room, mate. Come on. Grab some wood. Some more gun powder. Come, gun powder. I'm recording this after work too, so I'm tired. Just want to go to bed. But it, uh... Looks like I did the right thing by checking this place. Hello, another rifle? What the? That one's 65%. I think that is better than the one I picked up originally. Um, yes, it is. Okay. Do I have to unload you? I did. Okay, cool. Uh, I might actually drop that then. Don't want it. Um, okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Get our weapons. Go to that. We'll load her up. Ready. Anything back here? Got a bed. And a mysterious note. If you all made it this far, you've still got a ways to go, but, but there's help. Look for these supplies on the way. This is all you're going to get from me. I'd wish you luck, but there's none left to go around. Hand sketch map with supply locations. Okay. I could use this. <clears throat> what is that? Uh, caches or something, maybe? Wait, I just read that anyway. Um, let's go here. Yeah, caches. Cool. Convict caches. So there's four of them. Right. So I'm assuming they're on the map now. Yep, there's one. Okie dokie. Some more side missions to keep us uh, occupied. Right. Now I feel like I've been turned around, so... Actually, no, dead ahead. Just go straight. Alright. Go for a jog. Mackenzie. Mr. Pilot. I thinking about maybe picking up a few sticks, but... Wait, this is where I came from, basically. Hmm. 
I know I probably shouldn't be sprinting everywhere, but I don't care. What is the temperature? Minus seven. Oh, hello. Bit of blood. Hmm. I didn't notice that before. There's some more. Huh? What's going on? Is there a body around here or something? Maybe? Um. Okay. Why are they freaked out? Um. Wait, what? Oh, there I am. I couldn't see the uh, little white arrow because of the uh, black rock blues there. See how it covers it? Anyway, so we're close to it. Is that it up there? Is there a cave or something? I don't know why I keep asking questions. Hello. Mmm, fresh meat. Probably take 10 years to uh, harvest. I think I'll just leave him there. Or her. Oh, hello, there's a climbing area there too. Wait. That looks like a body. Let's go and investigate, shall we? Hmm. Blood trail. I actually have a feeling I might have had to, um, <laughs> like, discovered this body first and then followed the blood trail out. <laughs> but I like to do things uh, backwards or another way around. Yep, this blood's definitely from him. Yeah, seen better, better days there, champ. Aha, there it is. Infirmary medication, vials of morphine and injectable antibiotics. Nice. I think I can use this. And a bandage. Return to Blackrock. I will in a sec. Anything in this cave? And I think it's always warmer in a cave, yeah? Minus five. Not, well, it is technically, but... Not by much. Cuddy's Cave. Right. Well, that's it, isn't it? You got nothing around you, dude. I don't really want the rose hips. They'll kind of be... They'll kind of come in handy if... Um, I wonder if it's worth climbing this, though. We're getting close to midday. I'm a little worried about the weather, though, because it can turn any second. Hmm. At least we know where that is now, so we can always check it out some other time. And I can't remember what I was talking about before I got distracted, so it doesn't matter. Let's, um, hmm, shall we harvest a little meat? Half an hour for a kilo? Actually, I don't have a tool. Yeah, so forget that. <laughs> Scrap that. No. Why are they running for me, though? Running, running away from me. I'm pretty sure I'm playing on capable. Which is, you know, the mediocre difficulty. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe when I started a... Because I did start a new game after I died the, t the second time. Oh, hello. Back, back. Yeah. That's, um... That's really odd. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Yep. Only I need it, Mackenzie. Alright, here's the bridge. Let's go back. Go for a run, mate. Actually, how's our vitals real quick? A little hungry, a little thirsty. Uh, where is it? There we go. So, yeah, what I did was I got rid of all the yellow food, as I call it. So, like, 83%, 68%, that's all good. I think it's 50% and up. It's uh, normal, like a white font. And if it's below 50%, I think that means it is. Let's have a sip of this drink. Stacy's Grape Soda. If it's below 50, it's like in yellow, we're like warning, you know. Do not eat this. I found some 90% peanut butter, though. Now, that's a score, dude. Peanut butter is very, very good in this game. It fills you for hours. All right, so we got lucky with the weather because, like, yeah, it's, it's a bit cold, but... This is no blizzard or anything. It's relatively clear skies. Kind of like uh, when I look out my window right now. Hello. That, uh... Wait, what? That looked like that shot... 
Went straight into the middle of that deer then, but uh, hey ho, whatever. Reload. I shouldn't really be wasting uh, rifle ammo, to be honest. Let's uh, put you away. Quickly grab a flare just in case, but it looks like I don't even need them. That's quite weird. I wonder if you can actually change the difficulty when you already uh, started a game. Now, am I going the right way here? I have a feeling I'm not. Oh, hang on. There's a cache right in front of me. I am, though. I need to go to the right to get back to the prison, but... And does that mean the cache is up there? How am I going to get up there, man? What the? Unless it's right in the corner here or something. Come on. Climb up, dude. No. Cash? Where you at? Hmm. I can never seem to climb up like this. Like, look at that. He just won't go... Like, one step up, dude. Come on. It's pretty unrealistic with, the, with when that stuff sort of happens, you know? Well... I can't see it. Whatever. Obviously on the other side or on the top there. Actually... Hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see if I can quickly wrap around here. Sound like Terence and Philip. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, oh, what? Hang on, is this the same climbing point that, uh... I saw before? Knowing my luck, I'll probably uh, fall over the edge and kill myself. But quick look, ah, whatevs, whatevs. Let's just get back to the jail, the prison. I'm thinking about maybe dedicating an episode strictly for um, side missions. So I'm thinking about doing that. Let me know in the comment section below if you're interested in seeing something like that, or if I should just integrate it with the main story. I find side like I do like I do enjoy playing side missions, but I do find that they are a little bit distracting from the main stories. So I'll probably play them separately anyway. But uh, yeah, let me know if you would like to see those sort of things separated. Yeah, look at this uh, smashed up fence and that didn't even notice that on the way in. Hey dear. Jeez, there's heaps of them. Oh, hey, am I bleeding? Is that me? What the? No, no afflictions. Hmm. That's really odd. Random drops of blood there. I have no idea. Look at the size of that mountain there. Or rock mountain. What, would, what, do, what do you call that? Rock mountain? I don't know. Who cares? Whatever. Yep. There's the prison sign. Alright, come on. Let's run Mackenzie. Now, one thing I've got to remember to do is get rid of everything... I uh, don't want confiscated from me because I know for a fact that they confiscate you. Confiscate you? What the hell? Confiscate anything really like good food and all that sort of stuff. When you, uh, what do you call it? Continue on. So, I think, yeah, this is where I dropped some yellow food. What I'm going to do is actually test it. Uh, drop all the good food. And let's go to food. So, I'm actually going to put all this away. In here. Transfer all, please. Alright. Food-wise, rock and roll. Um, medicine, I can... Yeah, transfer all. Jeez, man. Just, just transfer. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is quickly run back in here. Get stark naked, mate. And, uh... See what's what. Um, drop. <laughs> I, I especially don't want them to take me, you know, my military jacket and stuff. So, what I'm gonna do is drop all my clothes, go in there naked, 
Well, I won't actually be naked, I don't think. Yeah, I've got some undies on. It's all good. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. I'm even going to take me boots off. Look at that. Could you imagine how extra cold you would be <laughs> walking around uh, rural Canada like that? Anyway, um, let's quickly get rid of these yellow freaking marker things. Um, yeah, so here we go. To avoid items being confiscated, hide them out of sight in, in containers or places far away from the convicts. Makes complete sense. There's the drugs for uh, the warden. Um, now I want to actually... Uh, you know what? This is going to be kind of annoying, but I'm just going to literally drop everything right here. Okay, so... Uh, drop all. Drop, 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 drop. Okay. Um, yep, so you should not be holding that flare anymore. No, you are not. Just want to double check. Okay, I've got matches there. Can you not drop the matches? I thought I just dropped everything. Or is that like a... Ah, right, okay. Cool. <laughs> All right. Uh, put them away, buddy. Because we're going to drop him. Drop all. I, like, I know it's not survival mode or whatever where you need to hang on to everything and all that. Uh, cloth, I will... I won't worry about this shit. So if they confiscate that, whoop de doo Who really cares, right? So but there's our uh, life possessions right here. And uh, as you can see, we're a bit white. Apart from in the cheeks and nose and ears areas. But uh, anyway, let's continue on with the game. Yeah, this is funny. All right. Okay. Can't even get out. There we go. Yeah, how cold is it, bud? Minus 21. Imagine rocking up. <laughs> Could you imagine what the convicts are thinking? They see me rock up with just, like, underwear on. <laughs> like, what the fuck, dude? Oh, uh, well, whatevs. Here we go. Wow. Shit. You made it. I made it. I guess you're tougher than you look. I found stuff to help the warden. Medical supplies. Yeah. You'd better get in there to see him. He doesn't look too good. But first, you gotta let me frisk you. Mattis would have my balls if I let you sneak a knife in here. All right, chapter two, the power plant. Achievement unlocked. Welcome to the shit show. Still don't know why they, the achievements don't pop up on the recording. Who the, who the hell are you? Relax. I'm your neighbor in cell 15. <laughs> yeah, Mathis is pilot. I cleaned you up the best I could. You might have a broken rib. Maybe more. Mathis opened up a couple of bad cuts on you, so I stitched them up. Gave you a shot of antibiotics. Hopefully that'll prevent serious infection. Thanks. You, you seem to know a fair bit of first aid. Well, I'm married... I, uh... I know a doctor. And, uh... I get hurt a lot. With, with friends like Mathis, I'm not surprised. Oh, Mathis is no friend of mine. We'd, we'd better hurry before the guards come back. There's something I need to tell you about the prison. I'm listening. Solitary. It's, a, it's on its own locking circuits, separate from the rest of the prison. Mathis and his guys, they haven't figured that out yet. But when they do, when they do, they'll get Donner out, and there will be hell to pay. They blame you for Donner? Malthus thinks I use some kind of override to keep Donner locked in there, even when the rest of the cells went haywire. Well, did you? No, no, it's... I can't figure it out. But someone is out there messing with the system messing with Mathis and keeping Donner inside. 
I might have an idea of who it is. You see someone out there? Not saw, but I talked to someone on the phone. Right. The old rotary phone system would still work. Redundancy for when the sad phone goes down. Right. Shit, they're coming back. Get back in your cell. You gonna be okay? Just don't let them find you in here. If you get to talk to whoever was on the phone again, do whatever they ask. Because right now, they are the only thing keeping us all alive. Think we can trust them? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. How'd that happen? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Must be glitchy. <laughs> These idiots think I'm a fool. They don't think I can figure out what happened here. But they were too chicken shit to take care of the warden themselves. And sent you out into the cold to do their dirty work. And you. Risking your life to save a guy you don't even know. What a fucking Boy Scout. That's me. You still don't get it. Don't you see that in this new world, Mackenzie, Boy Scouts will be the first to die. And yet, here I am. Well, smartass, if you're gonna make yourself useful, you're gonna make yourself useful to me. Am I? Yes. You are. And why am I gonna do that? Well, because... Hard case. Right. Get back out there, pilot. Go find out what's wrong with this place. What do you have in mind? Well, obviously there's something wrong with the power. Though he's been no help, a map in the warden's office shows this place has its own power plant, so... Go check it out. Give me some power, so I can open the gates to solitary. Right. Power. Solitary. Got it. And Mackenzie. Yes? Don't dawdle. Or... The Warden gets it for real this time. Is that so, Mathis? Math is said to give you this. That doesn't look like a coat. That's because it isn't. It's a bit of a map. Shows the way to the dam. Looks like you can just follow the power lines or something. It's cold out here. I won't find the dam if I freeze before I get there. Do I look like a guy who gives a shit? You don't want to freeze out here? Then get moving. Bastards. At least this map looks real enough. All right. What I might do is actually end part two here. Let me just quickly check the temperature. Minus 20. What kind of temperature is this fire throwing off? 35 degrees Celsius. Jeez. And um, what I'm going to do is quickly run back over to this little area here. But I guess we're kind of calling home at the moment. Oh, I forgot to bloody give the yellow food. No. So I wanted to test it to see if that would steal yellow food. But uh, anyway, let's uh, close that. Um, where's all our wooden stuff over here? So I'm just going to pick up a bunch of stuff, start a fire. No, I don't want to leave the prison, dude. Especially with uh, no clothes on. Not a good look, bro. Not a good look. Accelerant. Alright. No, no, no. Stop being annoying. Reclaimed wood. 
Matches, matches, matches. Okay. Uh, let's pick up all the clothes. Because I think he... Uh, the game equips them for you automatically, I'm pretty sure. Let's have a look, eh? Yep, there we go. Magically dressed. Like, just like that. Alright, let's start a fire to get some light and some warmth. Um... Actually, didn't I have... I could have sworn... Yeah, there it is. Use the lamp oil as accelerant instead of actually using that accelerant. You know what I mean? Alright, so 100% start fire. Bingo, bango. Well, thank goodness for that. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, let's chuck that in there. Chuck a coal in there. Why not, huh? And one lonely stick. Alright. It's still dark in here, though, isn't it? But I guess that's going to happen. So let's, uh... Not worry about that, because I was going to get rid of that yellow marker. But, uh... I'll just uh, crouch down here. Hot belly stove. And, uh, yeah, I think I'll leave part two there, guys. Uh... Finally managed to uh, progress the story after dying twice and all that sort of good stuff. But I will be checking the difficulty uh, when I start up the game again, when I record part three, just to see if it's on uh, capable or if it's on green. I think that's the first difficulty option you can have in this game. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed that video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more content. And if you're new to the channel, hit that big red subscribe button. Like I just said, I'm tired from work, so I'm going to go now. Have a good one, guys. Take care, and I'll see you in part three. Adios.